Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Today we're going to be rapid firing five stories in about eight minutes once we get into those stories. They're the five biggest stories in the last 24 hours for Nintendo. We have a lot to talk about, including Nintendo shrinking box sizes because, you know, shrinking packages is... Uh, a problem around here. More than that, we have to focus on some incoming Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. We have stuff about Kirby's Dream Buffet, some s top secret information. Oh boy, let's actually get right into the news. You are watching Nintendo Prime, and at this channel on Monday through Friday, we drop five videos going over the five latest stories in the last 24 hours revolving around Nintendo, the biggest of those stories. We also, on the weekends, end up dropping other types of content, including unboxings and Prime Answers episode that goes out every single Saturday where we answer all of your questions questions. If you enjoy Nintendo news and you want to get the latest updates, all you need to do is subscribe to Nintendo Prime. So Kirby's Dream Buffet just came out and did you know it actually has a bunch of unlockables in it? If you own and have saved data for prior Kirby games on Nintendo Switch, what are we talking about here? Well, if you have saved data for Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Super Kirby Clash, Kirby Star Allies, well, yeah, you get to unlock three songs for each game that you have saved data for inside of Kirby's Dream Buffet. Now, these songs are all actually from those games, a little bit remixed and reimagined a bit for Kirby's Dream Buffet, and it, these songs are playable and usable in the race mode of Kirby's Dream Buffet. But it's really cool to see these Easter eggs in the game, and honestly, this is a really, really exciting update to what is already a really, really fun game. Remember, Kirby's Dream Buffet only costs $14.99, and for what it's worth, it seems to actually be worth that amount of money. Infinite online multiplayer, lots of fun, who knows, maybe free updates down the line. And now, if you're a big Kirby fan and been playing the prior ones, you have all the more reason to play so you can enjoy some more Kirby music goodness. And, of course, we're talking about, well, Embracer Group, who went ahead and decided to purchase up a bunch of companies, because we all know that just buying out the industry is how we can be successful at life, if only I could buy out all the successful YouTube channels. Maybe I would be a success. I don't know. So Embracer Group has bought out Limited Run Games. We all know Limited Run Games for what they do uh, with Nintendo Switch indie games and other titles and giving us physical copies and a bunch of collectibles. Sometimes it takes like a year to deliver your copy, but that's neither here nor there. They also bought out the movie and game rights to Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So that's a pretty big get for them. They also ended up buying out Sing Tricks that worked on things like Guitar Hero, Tuxedo Labs, Tripwire Interactive, Tatsujin, Bitwire Games, and Geotech. They also have plans to purchase another studio that is working on PC and game console stuff, but right now they don't really know. Remember Embracer Group previously earlier this year bought all those Western studios, including Eidos Interactive from Square Enix. So that's really, really interesting. And now they have like over 130 studios and they have 820, 900 different IPs they own. I don't know, man. Embracer Group's just growing and growing and growing. And we're in this new era of the industry where everyone's buying up everything. We focus so much on Microsoft and Sony and all these other companies. Well, Embracer Group and Tencent seem to be the ones buying up a majority of companies. So really interesting. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about all these buyouts down below. And let's get into our next story. And that is that Nintendo has announced that they are going to be reducing the packaging by 20% for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this 20% reduction only applies to the Redbox Nintendo Switch. If you actually look at the OLED model of Switch, you'll notice that it already has reduced packaging and the Switch Lite has a pretty small profile as well. So they're actually looking to likely, if I had to guess, reduce the packaging to the size of the Switch OLED. And they say they're doing this because when they fly out units, that's right, they're actually gonna be flying out units for the holiday to get as much units in stores as possible. They want to fit as many units on an airplane as they can, so they need to reduce the packaging size in order to accomplish this. Now, this is just a smart and savvy mood for Nintendo. Reduce the amount of packing materials, maximize how many units you can fit on an airplane, and you know what? There's other things about me that I wish I could uh, shrink a little bit and maximize my towing capacity 
Anyways, on to our next story. So we might have a potential leak maybe sitting here. Uh, let's call it a rumor from a person on Twitter named Sharon. Sharon has actually gotten a number of things correct in the past, but we're going to focus on why we're talking about this. And this is because of the recent announcement of Wave Race for the Nintendo Switch online service. So Sharon put up uh, some tweets back in July that have been rebrought up by Sharon herself now that Wave Race has been announced. And those tweets include a bunch of really, really interesting stuff, including other future N64 title releases, such as Star Wars Rogue Squadron and Mario Paint. It would be really cool to get those games back. There's also some other interesting games included on this list that aren't related to Nintendo Switch Online, including Wind Waker, Luigi's Mansion, Metroid Prime, Wario World, Paper Mario, Mario RPG 2, some sort of remake of a Wario game, and more... It's going to be really interesting to pay attention to this as more games get announced over time and see if this list continues to be correct. As I said, this was all originally predicted back in July, and you saw the list for yourselves. Let me know, like, do you really like this list Sharon put out there? Do you think we're going to get these games? And what other games do you wish were on this list, or maybe you just think are going to happen in general? Again, let me know down below, and let's get into our final story. And this has to do with new information, probably a new trailer dropping for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet this upcoming weekend. That's right, we don't have to wait long. Let's actually dive into this, because this is official information from the Pokemon Company. So it was revealed during the Pokemon World Championships opening ceremony, president of the Pokemon Company, Tetsunkanza Ishihara, and I know I'm really bad at pronouncing names, please don't sue me. They announced some new content for the mobile game Pokemon Masters EX and the MOBA Pokemon Unite. Before teasing, the biggest news would be coming during the closing ceremony. We also have news for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the future of the Pokemon trading card game, but I'd like to share those updates with you during our closing ceremony. So I ask that you wait just a little bit longer. Notably, the closing ceremony happens on August 21st at 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, or convert to whatever. I think it's like 4 p.m. UK time. I don't know. Convert it to whatever time zones you want. I obviously am really excited to have Pokemon information coming this weekend because you know that we got to catch them all. And now I got to go because I actually got to go catch all of my children and make sure they're not destroying my house. Got to catch them all. I'm a parent. Oh! <laughs>